Folks, I had a subscriber ask a question about changing time, uh, over changing speed, I guess, over time. And what I've got here is a little clip of some of some uh, hummingbirds. So I did. I, gra- I already set my in and out. This is a very short clip, a few seconds, really. And I just pulled the video part down. I don't need the video and audio. I don't want to mess up the audio on this because it, it does kind of mess up your audio when you go do things over time. So here I've got about a G6 or 7 second clip right of hummingbirds flying in. And we had kind of a swarm of them out there on the porch one day. So it's kind of cool seeing this. So, you know, I don't usually do time remapping, which is what my friend is asking about. He's asking how to, how to do that effect where, you know, it's like you're going 100% speed, then you kind of swell into or you you ease into a faster speed or a slower speed uh, typically over uh, again historically like say i want to get this point here and, and slow this down i would typically just hit a c key on my computer and i would click there and say i want this particular portion to be slower i would cut again here i would go back to the v key v key turns me back into a pointer here right c key gives me the little cut tool v key gives me that's where i can cut clips V key gives me a pointer, and I would typically just click click on that and do a right click, and say speed duration, and maybe go to 40%. And usually I do the ripple. I make sure the ripple edit shift trailing clips that just moves everything over automatically. So now I've got a 40 like 100% here of the birds, and then boom, I've got the 40%, and I've slowed them down, and then they pick back up. Well, that's not what my friend wants to do. I'm going to delete these. I'm going to pull this back out again. It's the same clip, right? He wants to be able to, over time, make this go from like 100% to maybe 30%, and then it swells back up to maybe 60%, and it goes back down to maybe 18% or whatever like that. And with that, what you do, you use time remapping. So I'm going to click on the clip here. I'm going to go up under Effects Controls. And you see you've got time remapping here under Opacity. I'm going to click down on that. I'm going to click down on the speed too. I want like to be able to see what I'm doing. And the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to put a keyframe in here. I'm going to put a keyframe like maybe right here. And that's putting a keyframe right at the beginning. This is telling it to be 100% at this point. I'm going to move forward a little bit. I'm going to put maybe another keyframe in. And I'm not setting any time or anything yet just yet. I'm going to pull forward again some more. And I'm going to put maybe another keyframe in. So now I've got you know, some bits of time here, some bits of my video that I'm going to affect. I'm putting just various keyframes in. And so what I'm going to do here, let's say at this point, you know, I'm going I'm to let this go for this little bit at 100%. Then I'm going to go to here, and maybe I want it to go down, right? So I'm going to click on the line in between the keyframes, okay? And I'm going to go down, and you can see here what I've done. I'm going down to, I'm going to go down to about 15 or 16%. See that here, 16%. Okay, now what that did, of course, that stretched all that out, right? Um, but let's say I want, and see how sharply it goes here? If you can zoom in on that, you can see it's just a very sharp, it's gonna go abruptly, just like my oven was. But these little keyframes are split, right? You can just pull them apart like that. And looky there, you've got a little like Bezier curve thing, right? So if I click on this again, oh, oh I'm sorry, you click on a little thing here. I'm gonna zoom in where I can see it a little bit better. And I'm going to smooth that out, right? So now I have just smooth, I've made sort of a curve. So I'm going, if you look over here, I'm going from 100% down to what? 16% here. And and if you if you watch as I scrub over this, you'll see how, it, see what's happening over here? It's going at a kind of set rate. We're, we're easing into it. We're not uh, going abruptly into that time. And that's what my friend is seeing. Like say you see the extreme sport type things or something. And it's back, we're back to 100% here at this point. Let's drag this. This is the position thing. Let's say at this point, I kind of want it to be faster, maybe. I don't know. Now, what that's going to do, that's going to make the thing. That's where I went to 161%, right? So now what I can do here, again, I can pull. I can go on one of these and pull these things a little bit left and right. Uh, I'm almost off the screen, aren't I? Ah, here we go pull you back this way now now we're cooking now I can grab on this again I can smooth that one out so now if you look over time at what I'm going to be doing here if I get my ah here we go I gotta get up back over here get back to where I am and so we're now we can keep your eye on this over here folks so we're going to be 16 percent 16 percent then we're going to go way up to 160 percent see this 
Okay, so this is going to be a funky weird. I didn't do a really great job with this. I'm just explaining how it works so you can play with it yourself. And you can pull these left and right to expand the amount of time that it happens to. That makes the bell curve, I call it a bell curve, a Bezier curve. Uh, and since this one's still very abrupt here, so um, what I can do, I think, is pull it. Can I pull this over soon so I can see it? And pull this back, and pull this back. And once again, smooth that out. That's how, that's how you make your little smooth transition, okay? So I'm gonna pull us back to the very beginning. Let's click on this and let's do the tilde key. The tilde key is right to the left of the one and it's above the tab on your, uh, uh, if you're looking on your on your regular keyboard. Now we're at the very beginning, I'm gonna hit play. Let's watch your 100%. Then we're gonna go down to real slow, 16%. So now those hummingbirds are just really creeping along. Then we should go back up to there. Right, now it's like 160%. And there you go, folks. I've just affected time, and I've done it with curves, not just abrupt time changes. This is called time remapping uh, in Premiere Pro. You can actually go backward with it. I usually just, if I'm going to hit the hit tilde key again to get out, if I want to go backward, that's a whole different ball of wax. Let me know if you want a tutorial on that. I'll let you know how that happens as well. But so there you go, folks. That's how you do your kind of. Like, imagine you're on a, you're doing a GoPro Hero 3, and you, you're going 120 frames a second, 720p, on a skateboard, or you're in the tube, uh, surfing, or you're skiing downhill, or whatever. And you want to do that real cool effect where you kind of ease in and ease out, and the snow's flying around, waves are crashing, and your board's flipping. That's the way you do this with Premiere Pro. There's other ways to do it, with different programs. This is what they give you, and if you practice around with it, there's some really cool effects you'll be able to get out of that, and you can see how fast you, know, you can make the transition, change the speed of it, and all here, boom. That happened pretty fast. You might want it to be slower. You pull it back that way, and it's a, it's a slower ease into it. And we're going to ease back up. Boom. Crazy fast. Folks, hope that helps. Peace to everyone. Let me know if you have additional questions, and I will try to help. Subscribe if you like. Take it easy.